Atlanta's like restaurant ecosystem is all up. You know what I mean? Sometimes I went to a restaurant <laughs> and they were like, the wait time is one hour and 30 minutes. Like, nah, that's crazy. I remember we, we literally went to like that old lady gang and we literally looked at the price and we're like, holy shit, like the cheapest thing is $20. Niggas be closing at 5 p.m. on a nah, Monday. They This Keith Lee shit has been going crazy. Bro, that's actually been so fun to watch. Oh, Like, man. in real time, too, it's, like, even crazier. And it's wild is because people don't know. People who don't know about Atlanta, Atlanta's, like, restaurant, like, fucking ecosystem. Their structure is all fucked up. It's Terrible. all types of fucked it's up, It's awful. Bro. It's awful. We've been to so many restaurants. You know what I mean? Sometimes I went to a restaurant, <laughs> and they are like, the wait time is one hour and 30 minutes. Like... No, nah, that's it's crazy. We just be leaving. We just be going to we we got TGI Fridays, Chili's, Applebee's. What are you talking about, bro? Are crazy. you for real, dog? That really has been a bad experience. And it'd for be us, like though. twenty dollars for a burger, bro. That, I, bro, that be. I remember we, we literally went to like that old lady gang. We literally looked at the price and we're like, holy shit! Like the cheapest thing is twenty dollars. So we kind of just skedaddled out that one. Oh yeah, let me pull up some videos because these videos have been hilarious, bro. He's been he's been getting on to the people and it could be. I, as you see, I have no bag in my hands. And you're like, what? What, are you, what are you reviewing? Anime pose. And he always no, talks yeah. to fast and he was, and was, and be like, oh, what is he reviewing? He's like, ah, I have nothing. Yeah. <laughs> but they were cool, cool people. Do not ban them. Do not review it. Bad bomb review them. And you're like, what? Like, people suck. Immediate bad review. Oh, for sure. <laughs> and it's even better, like, being from Atlanta and, like, hearing about the places and, like, hearing how people, like, can, you know, like, agree. And they're like, oh, I had that same experience. And you're just like, what? That's crazy. Yo, that sucks, bro. Mr. Keith Lee, boy. But it's, I think it's I think the coolest thing about him is seeing his fighting highlights low-key. Oh, yeah. He was actually a yeah. fighter. He was a yeah, UFC fighter. Yeah, So that should be kind of cool to Was he cool Was he see. clutch? Was he raw with it? He was nice, but he I don't think he did that many matches. I think he only did maybe, like, 13 or something like oh okay like i don't know if he even fights anymore to be honest i think he I got think he injured does. or some shit like I that i think so yeah but uh huh. all right cool let's watch this one right here the rules they had set were very unique to me we just tried to take out but when we came in they said we very sit unique out, and there was no space at the bar for us to stand so we had to stand outside and order our food and then we decided we just gonna dine in but two people in our party stepped out for a second because again we fresh off the plane so everybody's trying to get situated the waitress again she was nice but she told us she couldn't take any orders or she couldn't do anything until everybody said that happened to us no one water, time no that's wild to have a nice orders. waitress for for real <laughs> yeah popular tiktoker no nah, that literally happened to us i think one time or somewhere somewhere out here in atlanta i went atlanta and they were like oh you can't be you can't like until everyone's seated or until everyone's like present type that's shit. such a stupid rule it's like i gotta wait if i got two some places it's over 50 percent. some places it's like i got two people about to come and they're like no you can't order until everybody here and you're like what that it doesn't make sense bro Nah, for real it's like who's coming up with these rules bro different restaurants over the weekend lee who has more than 14 million followers is known for his That's crazy reviews 14 and million. also for his good deeds he talked about how some of the rules at atlanta's establishments made it hard for him to even get food to review crazy bro here's another one for real for real this week has been insane this is a recap of everything that's happened this week the good and the not so good let's talk about it let's Probably just a lot address of not the so elephant good. in the room not these two good. videos were posted yesterday if they get boo wools it out. And we're even shouting out the girls into the also video. Short, me and my He's a good person for real. Yeah, he is. just wasn't for me. And I want to be very clear. Usually when celebrities come in, they want to be treated like that. I'm not a celebrity. I'm a normal person. That's so why how Atlanta does that. They treat people like, if you're a celebrity, if you status, they're, they're like, all right, cool, we got you. We like, yeah, they, 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 they just, everybody just wants to get put on, bro. It's crazy. video. We left and with the Tulsa on Linux. Tulsa on Linux is where those two videos were taken. I had no intention on shooting the video. We just wanted to eat food. We walked up. It was a two and a half hour wait time. Two and a half hour, hour bro. Dressed to the nines, head to toe. On Sunday, and I'm not catch me. I'll go home and cook before that two and a half hours, bro. Shit. Me and my wife took a picture. Make a Jamaican beef patty. Oh, my God. White bread. Oh, it's his. Ramen noodles be done in five minutes. What do I look like? Walked out the entire staff. Walked out behind us. They attempted to implore us to stay and said that we could sit down immediately. Again, I'm not the See, that's audience. boof right there. That's so we, fucked up. We yeah. we saw two cars it just looks even more desperate, too. So mm -hmm. It was two girls and one car over here. It was two girls and one car over here. One car had been waiting for an hour and a half. The other car had been waiting for an hour. One car was trying to do takeout. One car was trying to sit down. Waiting an hour and a half for takeout is wild. Bro, I wouldn't do it. You never people that were sitting in these cars, I didn't like that. 
So the owner and the manager walked out and they offered us a table for us to be able to sit out. We told them as a family that we would do takeout, but we wouldn't eat in the restaurant. And the only way we would do takeout is if they gave the table that they was going to give to us to the two girls that were sitting in this car, which they did. That's a good dude. They had to make sure the girls that were sitting in this car got takeout before we did, which again, they did. The staff and the owner were extremely accommodating. They were nice, they were accommodating, they were professional. And again, that's just my experience. When we got the food, we all enjoyed it. Personally, the food was good to me. But again, I wasn't recording anything. I was just eating. We paid for our food, and I tipped the waitress five hundred dollars. I wasn't gonna say nothing about it because again, I'm gonna be out here blessing people. No, for and real. I just blessing. Sure we clear it up. The lady we met inside the restaurant had nothing to do with anything. She was just eating food, and I wasn't arguing with nobody. I don't argue. I even said in the video that they recorded. I'm just keep. Yeah, so UFC niggas inside, usually don't argue. Person. They just start fighting forever. <laughs> Yeah, he got them hands when he got them like that shit. Situation. They be like, bro, I could kill you. Oh, I like this part. I'm like, who is that? Who is that? I know that being a restaurant owner is a lot of hard work. And so many people have invested money in their restaurants. People, you know, like, this there is there everything. But I always find this. Eating in Atlanta, it is such an event. Who could barely order in Atlanta restaurants? Like you go, like, hey, I would like to make order. Oh yeah, we don't make, we don't, we don't take orders. They don't do no pickup orders. The wild, bro. God, real. That is amazing. Shout out to Cardi B. The real <coughs> money. Shit, that's even Rickets, bro. We couldn't do takeout for a minute. Milk, bro, Ricky, bummy ass, ass Ricketts, bro. You know, bummy like, ass Ricketts, dog. Milk and Honey is a restaurant we did not attend. So we went to Milk and Honey. We didn't go to. Bro, we did. Yeah, like off the Cascade or something. I think. Hate to the Milk and Honey. They didn't do it. I really don't remember it, but I see the notice from the owner. The, Hell yeah. the place that we did not go to, them and their employees been receiving death threats. I'm <laughs> absolutely 100% not with that. That's so I'm gonna kill corny, you if you don't bring so me my food. Lame. Oh my <laughs> god, bro, bro, bro people. Restaurant, even if it's the real Hey, at least niggas riding for him for a good reason. Like it's not like it was unwarranted. I know, right? It's not an unwarranted kill. Like That's they were, a... they were being assholes. <laughs> That's niggas a need to get this shit right. He's right there, dog. Oh, bro, that one looked so good, bro. That jerk chicken place, I was like, bro. Man, I read saw that one. I was like, I was like, man, that we gotta go as, as like a group. And they've been jumping, bro. For real. That's Lionel. why. That's why I'm like, I don't even want to go no more because it's gonna be a crazy line, bro. We gotta wait like a legit. couple, a couple, probably a month a at month. least. Yeah, yeah, we gotta like New Year, bro. Like, oh man. And it's like, oh, and you know, and you know, every time people probably go, they're probably gonna be out of that shit because everybody ordering that. Because everybody ordering it, bro. Yeah. That joint's so crazy. Granted, it, it does look worth it. So, yeah. Hey. But yeah, yeah, definitely. Shout out to him for exposing you ATO restaurants, dogs, because that shit is not cool. It man. makes me not even want to go out to eat. You know, I just be like, shit, I'll just go ahead and cook at home. And maybe grab like, some fast food if that. And even if you fast food or even you DoorDash, you can only buy but the same things every single time. And that joint just gets old after a while, bro. Like, I want to try something new, but you can't get carry out. You can't do none of that, bro. Like, mm -hmm. that joint is ridiculous. And niggas be closing at fucking 5 p.m. on a nah, Monday. Nah, they do be having weird closing what? hours. What, bro? Oh, don't even try to get food in Atlanta on Sunday. Don't oh, even no, try no, to, no. bro. It's not even worth it, it's dog. It's not worth it. You might as well just go to church and go home. That's all you can do. <laughs> go to that's, church and go home. That's all you can do, bro. Like, now I understand why Chick-fil-A moves the way Chick-fil-A does. <laughs> it's they like Atlanta makes off. no sense, bro. Like, what? Like, niggas is hungry every single day of the week, bro. That's one thing I like about New York, though. New York, it don't you, matter. You what. can eat whenever you want, wherever you want, bro. It's There's always going to be something, bro. That's I do love that shit about New York, though. Bro, what? Just nigga? be walking around at, like, 2 a.m. Be like, oh, let me get a fucking hot dog. Nigga, there's a hot nigga, dog there right there. You know what I'm saying? At 2 a.m., bro. You know what I'm saying? You I go <laughs> pizza, pizza be going crazy. Get you a big one. I remember one time I almost stole a glizzy for real, for real. So I was at... I was, nigga needed that glizzy bag. <laughs> yeah, I was... <laughs>